Last season, I saved a bunch of Skinex items, and now it's time to get them back. So today, I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about Skindexing this season. So if you played last season, you probably got items with looks, and if you save them like I said in this video, you can now apply that look to similar items. By heading over to slash warp skindex or by using the slash skindex command, you can open up the skindex GUI. The first page of this will show you any item in your inventory that a skin can be applied to. And then if you click on the book, it will show you the items that you have saved from last season. By hovering over an item, you can see its name, when it was saved, and also if you've applied it yet. This will help you keep track of which items you can still use. You can use the button in the bottom right to see more skins if you filled up the first page. By now clicking on the chest at the top of the GUI, you can now see every single skin dex in the game. So you can use this page to see if there's a skin dex you want to try to get from someone else, or if you just want to see every single skin in the game. Flipping back to the original page, I'm now going to show you what it's like to apply a skin. In my inventory, we have a sword, an axe, a bow, a shovel, a pickaxe, a helmet, an uncommon rune, which is also a lime green dye, and an orange dye. All of these items, a skin that I have saved, can be applied to. By clicking on one of the items in this GUI, it will show you every single skin that can be applied to it. For this example, I'm going to be picking the dragon beanie to apply to my helmet. Hovering over the beanie, you will see that it shows the original enchants that the item had in the crate. It will not have these enchants when you apply it to an item. And it will also show you a warning. It tells you that you can only apply this item once, so be careful when you apply it because you only get one. So now if we click on the dragon beanie, it should apply it. Green dye to confirm. And there you go. The helmet is no longer here. The helmet's no longer here, but it is in my inventory with the dragon beanie skin applied. You'll now see on the item a new category is added called skin dexes. It will tell you the skin, so the dragon beanie, and also the skinner. Uh, Harv's Gaming underscore YT. This would be your username if you applied it. We could take off our dragon head and add the helmet, and it might not apply at first, but technically it should eventually. And there we go. So beautiful. I look amazing. So the most common question I get when it comes to skin dexing is what skins apply to what items. And yeah, that is super confusing because if we look in skin dex, we go down to here, you will see that we have the wings of undying. What are those? And then we have the sunflower cookie. Like, what is that? And you could try every item in the game and eventually you would find it out. But there is an easier way to find out which skin dex goes to which item. And you're going to have to start off by closing out the GUI and leaving the server. Then just join something else because you're never going to find out which is which. I'm just kidding, guys. But you do actually have to leave the server for this. And then once you're in your server menu, you're going to click on the server, edit, and you're going to turn off the resource pack. Now when you do slash skin decks again and you click on the book, it will show you all of the items just without their skins. You can see that we have purple dye, green dye, a totem of undying, shield, pickaxes, all of that stuff. These are all the items I have saved, but it just doesn't show the skin. This will help you out a lot because now if you hover over an item, it will show you its name and then you can also see which item it is. So the summer sparklers are flint, the star potion is bread. The space painting is a lime dye. The witch's cauldron is a purple dye. And then of course, the wings of undying are a totem. Then from there, you just have to get your item, have it in your inventory, go to the first page, and apply the skin that you want. Confirm. And there we go. Now my orange dye is the ancient scroll. Of course, when you turn the texture pack back on exact way we did it before, you will be able to see these items again. But yeah, I think that's everything you need to know about skin dexing. And just as a little bit of a bonus for you guys, if you guys want free skin dexes, I will be doing one giveaway a month on my Discord of a random skin dex item. So if you guys want a chance to win it, just join the link down in the description. It's one simple click. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And like always, have a great day.